In this video, I'm going to introduce an AI platform that allows you to create custom AI agents or workflows and access it directly within the platform and also integrate the same into your Gen AI application and all that without having to go through any complex technical configuration process. I mean, let me show you what I'm talking about today. So this right here is on demand and this is the AI platform that I've been talking about. And to access it, all you need to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to ondemand.io and you can then go ahead and sign up for a new account. And now the interesting thing about on demand is that as soon as you sign up for a new account, they'll give you like $50 instant credit to your account without having to enter any credit card details or any payment details. And the $50 credit is more than enough to try out all the features that this platform has to offer. So first thing first, head over to this website, sign up for a new account. And now let me quickly go ahead and log into the same. And now once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see. So here in the overview section, here you can find a bird's eye view of stats like the available credits, the storage, agent calls, tokens, media storage, the media types, the, your agents, the models that you have deployed, your credit grants and this agent activity charts as well. And now towards the left side, you can find a bunch of these options. And if you click on this my agents button right here, you'll be able to find all these AI agents that you are subscribed to. And now the thing is, if you click on this agent marketplace option right here, here you'll be able to discover and create custom versions of on demand that combine instruction, extra knowledge and any combination of skills. So basically you can find a wide variety of AI agents that are already built and you can just go ahead and click on it and subscribe to it or let's say click on this add button and start using it right away. Okay. So you have hundreds of AI agents right here that you can access within a click. And now let's say you want to create a custom agent. You have options for that. For that, all you need to do is to click on this create agent button right here and here you have three options. The first is REST API agent where you can add any custom action or flow by integrating external APIs. And then you have knowledge base agent where you can store and retrieve information from documents, audio and video. And lastly, you also have this IoT agent which controls real time data collection and stuff like that. So you have three options right here. But before creating a new agent, let me go ahead and explore one of these pre-built agent from the marketplace. So here I found a AI agent called as LinkedIn search agent. So if I click on this one, I'll be able to find more information about it. And it says scrapes real time data from LinkedIn profile post companies. Okay, looks good. And now maybe I can click on this add option right here. And now this AI agent is added. And to use it, all you need to do is to head over to this playground option right here. And now if you click on this plus button right here, you'll be able to find all these AI agents that you have added or let's say subscribed. And here we have the LinkedIn search agent. And now I can click on the plus button right here to add the same. So as you can see, agent added successfully. So here we have it. And now if I click on this button right here, I should be able to select the LinkedIn search agent. And now you can go ahead and use this playground interface right here to use the AI agent. But before that, if you click on this reasoning mode drop down menu right here, you'll be able to select the reasoning mode. We have a couple of these options along with the AI model that you want to use. So in this case, let's keep it as let's say dynamic that is cloud 3.7 sonnet. I'll keep it as that. And now all you need to do is to use the AI agent. So here we can find a couple of these starter prompts and it says fetch details about company perplexity AI and its people. So I'll just go ahead and type it. And if you want to, let's say, replace it with something like, let's say Google or your company, you can do that. But for example, I'll put it as, let's say, perplexity AI itself. And now all I got to do is to click on the send button. And now, as you can see, on demand is initializing the process, analyzing the prompt and the AI agent will go ahead and scrape LinkedIn for perplexity AI and its people and give me all the details that I asked for. So as you can see, execution plan creator, realizing the prompt, Okay, so it is going through the process and now let's wait. All right, so there you go. So Perplexity AI is a technology company uh, focused on developing advanced AI powered search and conversational tools. So founded 2022, headquarters, industry, people, that is Arvind Srinivas, Dennis Yards, John Co. You can find all these details in here. And now in a similar fashion, you can go ahead and use this AI agent whatever way you want. And the even cooler thing is that you can now use it right within the platform and let's say you want to integrate this particular AI agent of scraping LinkedIn to your application. Well, it's pretty simple. And for that, all you need to do is to first go to this preset section right here and here you'll be able to configure a preset. And now you can give it a name and select the 
AI model endpoint that you want to use. Here we have a couple of these options like GPT-4.0, DeepSeek V3, Sonnet, Gemini Flash. I mean, you can find leading SOTA models from all these AI companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSeek, Gemini and all that. So you can select that one. You can select the response mode. I'll put it as streaming. And if you have any fulfillment prompt, you can enter them in here, adjust the temperature, max tokens and all these details and save the preset. And here I have already saved a preset for Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. And now, to incorporate the same AI agent into my Gen AI application, all I need to do is to click on this option right here. So this code option and here you can find a bunch of these options. So let's say I have my application built in TypeScript. So I can select TypeScript and there you go. Here we have the snippet of the API code that we can use to incorporate the same AI agent into our Gen AI application. And now all you need to do is to replace the API key and also external user ID and that should be it. You can instantly start using the same and incorporate it into your let's say application and you can even push it to github as well so you have options for all that and now that is basically how you use a ai agent next up let's just go ahead and try to create one so i'll click on this my agent section right here i'll click on create agent and as i mentioned earlier here we have three options for let's say if you want to create a rest api agent you can click on this option right here click on next and the process is pretty simple you need to give it a category give an agent description give a name generate a uh, icon put a conversation starter in here configure all these settings and this is where you need to put your open api schema so you need to mention your schema in here and if you want to you can import one from a url or you can also click on this drop down menu right here and quickly get started with a sample as well okay and now you can just go ahead and deploy it and your ai agent should be live in a similar fashion you can create other type of ai agent that is knowledge based ai agent and also iot agent for example let me quickly go ahead and create a knowledge based ai agent so I can click on this option click on next and next up you need to select a category so in this case i'll give it as let's say research and insight and now uh, ai agent for learning react js and next up i'll select the agent name at react agent interesting name and if you want to you can generate an image with ai to use it as an icon maybe let's see or maybe I can put it as react.js agent, click on generate image with AI and let's see. So there you go. The AI has created a nice icon and added the same. But if you want to, let's say a custom one, you have the option to upload the same and you can then go ahead and put some conversation starters in here. Maybe I can just go ahead and let's say what does react.js, click on add, what does JavaScript. Oops. Okay. You can basically put conversation starters uh, suitable for your AI agent. If you have a privacy policy page, you can put link to that in here. And now as this is a knowledge based AI agent here, you need to upload a knowledge base. So basically you can go ahead and upload the file in here. And now I can click on the upload file option right here and select this one right here that says react JS tutorial. So basically I downloaded an extensive react JS PDF file or tutorial PDF file that contains a lot of this information about react JS. And basically I upload the same and train the AI agent based on the data available within the document and I can then use the AI agent. So that's basically how it works. And now if you have any additional files, you can go ahead and drop them in here and use it to train the AI agent. So as you can see here, we have the first file uploaded. And if you have, let's say a different one, you can upload them. And the more number of files that you give, the better and smarter the AI agent becomes. So these are all the, let's say, uh, configurations that I'll do for now. I'll click on the save button right here okay and as you can see here we have this react js agent and now if you want to publish it to the marketplace so that others can use it basically if you want to publish it to this agent marketplace right here you can head back you can click on this option that says publish and publish it and now to use this ai agent i can go to the playground i'll create a new session okay click on this option select the newly created ai agent that is react js agent I'll add the same okay and next step I've selected the same and now I can go ahead and ask questions for example what is react.js and I'll click on send and let's see so there you go react.js is an open source javascript library developed by facebook blah 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 stuff maybe let's say what is babel let's hit enter all right so there you go babel is a javascript compiler that converts new versions of javascript such as blah 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 stuff and now if you want to let's say use this one right here vision agent so i can select it and view all this information about it and maybe i will create a new session and click on this vision agent right here so here we have this and now the thing is you can even upload files or links and then interact with the ai agent as well 
So if I click on this attach button, I've already downloaded an image of a cat. So I'll select that and open it up in here. And now I can go ahead and ask, okay, what is this image about? And I can click on send. And now the AI agent will analyze this image and it says the image features a close up of a ginger cat with green eyes set against a blurred green background. So basically you can interact with the AI agent by uploading files as well. So this is basically how it works. And now if you want to let's say use a different AI model, you can configure it by going over to this preset section right here, choose model endpoint and you can use it. And now if you want to let's say use a custom model, you have options for that as well. And for that, all you need to do is to go to this tools and deployment option, click on bring your own, click on models and click on deploy model option. And now you can search for any model that is directly available within hugging face and select that one. For example, let's say mm, this one right here, Metalama 3.8 instruct, I can select that or enter the hugging face repo ID. Or if you have a private model, you can paste your token and access it as well. And once you have it, you can deploy the same. And once deployed, you'll be able to find that in here and use it to use within a AI agent as well. So you have options for all that. And now if you click on the serverless applications option right here, here you'll be able to create serverless applications. So I'll click on this create repository option right here, enter the repository name, repository platform, availability, access token, and you can configure the repository, do configurations in here and also configure the endpoints as well. And now if you click on this cloud services option right here, you can see all these cloud services that are directly available within on demand that you can use within your AI agent or workflow. So here we have a couple of them like text to speech, speech to text, language translation, quiz generation, text summarization and all that. And if you click on the storage option right here, here you will be able to find all these files that you have uploaded right within on demand. So this is a centralized place where you can find all these files and you can even view them. And now if I head over to this agent flow builder section right here, here you will be able to create custom agentic workflows. And for that, I can click on this create workflow option right here. And now in here, I can give it a name and use this node based builder to create a custom workflow. And as for the starting point, we have two options that is API and cron. So if you want to run this workflow in a set interval, then you can use this cron job option right here. And you can make this workflow run in every 20 minutes or let's say 30 minutes or let's say two hours, two days, 30 days, even you can go ahead and configure a custom time. So basically you can go ahead and mention a time limit and run it in a set interval. And now if you click on this option right here, you can configure the AI model that you want to use. And if you have added a custom one, you'll be able to access it from here. You can then take the output and create a new node send a slack message, a email, a phone call, or even invoke a custom webhook as well. So you can create an advanced workflow using this agent flow builder right here. And next up, if you click on this web chatbot creator option and click on this create chatbot option, you'll be able to create custom chatbots as well. And now once you create it, you can then add it to your website and also use it directly from here. So you have options for all that. So basically on demand is like a platform that you can use to create an AI agent trained on your custom data or create a REST API based AI agent which interacts with external APIs or systems and then create the entire stuff from on demand and configure the AI model that you want to use, even a custom one from Hugging Face. And once everything is done, you can incorporate the same into your Gen AI application that you're building with a couple lines of code. And that is how simple it is. Now creating such kind of an AI agent and writing all these codes can be extremely tedious. And this is where on demand makes your makes the whole process very simple and you don't have to go through any complex configuration process. Just go ahead and use the drag and drop flow builder or this on follow the on-screen instructions to create the AI agent and you should be pretty much good to go. So this is how simple it is. And now this AI agent marketplace is the gold mine. Here you'll be able to find a bunch of these AI agents that other people have created that you can start using in your project in a single click. And now if you want to make modifications, you have options for that as well. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So to quickly get started, all you need to do is to click the first link in the description below, head over to on demand and you can start using it right away. And to make things even more interesting, they also offer you a $50 credit as well. Okay. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.